AR, VR, AI, NFT, blockchain, the metaverse. These are all terms that are entering the public awareness more and more. Well, here to share what's happening and what the future holds in the virtual world is Rish Lotlakar, co-founder and CEO of Superworld. It's great to have you. Thank you. And Globe Thank Trekker, you. I should also say. Um, first, let's get to know you a little bit better, Rish. So tell us, you, you say that you're a bit of a globe trotter. you're mm -hmm. very transient mm -hmm. in your life. So, so how did all this come about? Well, I've always been interested in the world. I grew up you know, traveling a lot with my family and my, my parents, and um, you know, I've always been very intrigued by cultures, languages, you know, countries. I, I just really am, am inspired by that. Mm -hmm. And and so, you know, due to technology and virtuality and, you know, even the last couple of years with, with COVID, I think we've all realized that we're all able to to be very virtual in our work lives and our, you know, in, in other parts of our lives, even even things that we're doing recreationally or um, things that we wouldn't have imagined maybe doing virtually we're able to do. And so I've always Always been a believer in that, and so lived very globally, nomadically yeah. um, now for about 12 years. So every year, live in different places. The world is getting smaller and smaller. And yeah. just to put this into context for you, he has a six-year-old daughter who's been to 15 countries already. Yeah, he's lived, lived in 15 countries. Yep. Yeah, it blows my <laughs> mind. It blows my mind. But yes, I think it was baptism by fire mm -hmm. for a lot of us mm -hmm. because of the pandemic in mm -hmm. 2020. Everybody was forced to work from home and figure it out. Yeah, you know. But but this technology has been around now for a long time. Mm -hmm. but it has been developing more and more. And I yeah. gave some terms off the top, and I'm hoping that you can just give us quick sure. definitions of these. AR, VR, AI, what's the difference between mm -hmm. the three? Sure, so AR is augmented reality, and it's when you add digital information to real world environments. So it's as if I could put a hologram of my best friend who lives across the world right here in the room, right? And now I'm talking to someone uh, and communicating with them in this real world environment, mm -hmm. but they're digital, right? That's augmented reality. Okay. It's when you're augmenting the real world. Virtual reality is when you go totally virtual, mm. right? So in, I you know, snap my fingers and now we're on the beach. Mm. You know, I look around and all I see is ocean. And that's with and the help island. of? That's with the help the, of the headset, yes. um, which is a virtual reality headset. I see. Okay. And then, and then, you know, again, all of these technologies really come together with artificial intelligence and contextual understanding of your environment. And so, so AI is mm -hmm. lends itself to both AR, VR. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And then we've also talked about NFTs and blockchain, and this is something that is also becoming very popular. NFTs are becoming huge among celebrities who can afford them, uh, and blockchain goes hand in hand with that because that's the the technology in which to protect, right? Right. So, so maybe yeah. you can explain a little bit better than I can. Yeah, so non-fungible tokens, is which, which is what is an NFT, mm -hmm. is really a digital asset. And really the idea there is that you can convert anything into an NFT, which is very powerful. So if you're talking about a piece of music, you know, a video file, a 3D piece of content, maybe a 3D um, type of object or an interactive object, a game, mm -hmm. even physical things like going to a concert or you know having access to something in the real world, you can convert all of that into an NFT. And an NFT is a way of you know really signifying that you are the owner, the authentic owner of whatever that is. Mm -hmm. Well, we need to take a break here. When we come back, more on Superworld. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. Now we're going to enter your universe, the meta universe. Mm -hmm. so, so what is the metaverse exactly? The metaverse is the online, offline, interface for all activity. So whether you're talking about going to a digital environment or you're talking about doing things in the physical world, you know, when you combine all of those things together in a persistent format, mm -hmm. accessible through a variety of different form factors, whether that's visual, audio, haptic suits, you name it. It's really the combination of all those things. And what we call the open metaverse is when all of that is decentralized. So it's not owned by a central party. Like cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency right. is a great example of decentralization. Mm -hmm, That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, so tell me, how does living in the metaverse mm -hmm. 
help you in the real world, mm -hmm. in, in the earthly sense. Yes. So, you know, the, the really powerful concept here is that we're able to do a lot of the things that we do in the physical world, we're able to do them virtually, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And the thing that we're doing at Superworld is we're focused on people's real life. And so it sounds ironic to build a virtual world. To deal with real life. That focuses yeah. on your real life, but that's exactly your question, is you know the things that you do in your real life can actually be further you know, amplified, can be enhanced in many ways by adding virtuality to those can things. Can you give me an example? Sure, so I flew in today for this interview, but what if I could beam in here as a hologram and that experience could be exactly you know, the same as, as if I flew in here, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And I flew in because I actually, you know, would love to be in here in person, sure, I love yes. traveling, but not everyone might have that opportunity. And so again, that's a simple example of leveraging virtuality when I need to, and doing it in a way that's very compelling, right? And not just a video call or, or doing something that doesn't feel real, mm -hmm. but when you're utilizing these technologies at their optimized state, you're able to get what's called presence. Mm -hmm. And presence is a term when you, you, it is indistinguishable from real life. And right? I can vouch though, Rish is actually here. <laughs> he is actually here. I, I just touched his knee, he is here. <laughs> that's right. No, yeah. but, but that's interesting. So, so, but how do you now get that into the vernacular of people such as myself mm -hmm. who yeah. don't catch on quite as quickly? Well, you know, it, 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 it is... It's uh, hard to conceptualize. Yeah, I mean, sure, it, really it is. is. It, is, it, is, it, is, it is hard. And, you know, what's, what's beautiful here is when people understand the value of virtuality of the metaverse, um, it, they, they get very galvanized and excited about it. Mm -hmm. But I think what gets people to understand it is to understand in their daily lives what are the ways that virtuality is already enhancing their lives? Communication was one way. Yes. The other way is, you know, I often think of, you know, gaming because there's just mm -hmm. so much, you know, interest around gaming. But if you think of movies, even traditional movies, a lot of them are also, you know, oftentimes looking very much like games, very computer generated it's true. content, it's true. right? Mm -hmm. And so on the entertainment of our lives, we're starting to see virtuality kind of take place, whether it's AR type of content or VR content. Education is another way. You know, if you see something in 3D and you're able to walk around and yeah. experience that, that's just much more of a compelling way to learn and so as you start kind of seeing how all of these you know technologies start enhancing our daily lives yeah. they become much more compelling real quick how far away are we mm -hmm. from implementing these examples into mm -hmm. our daily lives well you know it's already happening okay. so there's 3.6 billion mobile phones that are augmented reality enabled right right and we really saw that there was a game called Pokemon go that became yes, a huge of hit course. Yes. right yeah. And that showed, that showed <laughs> us that the technology is compelling and people would use it, right? Okay, yeah. And, and so, you know, as that technology and, and eyeglasses technology that's coming out from Apple and Facebook and others, right. um, you know, we're going to see that really penetrate the market. And, uh, and VR is already is out there, right? Right. Oh, it absolutely yeah. is. Yeah. It's so fascinating. Yeah. There's so many more questions I have for you. Unfortunately, we've run out of time, but we hope to have you back. We like having you in the studio, but of course we can always do it via some other technology. Maybe not the hologram, <laughs> but we'll do it via Skype at some point. For anybody who's interested in more information about uh, Superworld, where do they go? Well, they go to superworldapp.com and okay. we've built a virtual world on top of the real world that allows anyone to create, discover, monetize anything anywhere and own the world. So I welcome you all to check it out. Fantastic, Rish, it's been a pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you for having me. We're back after this.